Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is going to be on how I've been preparing for my upcoming jiu-jitsu tournament. And if you stay till the very end, you get to hear from my amazing jiu-jitsu instructor, Steve Rosenberg, and he will also give you guys his top three tips on how to best prepare for a jiu-jitsu competition. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of my previous videos, but for the past month to month and a half, I've actually been preparing for a jiu-jitsu tournament, and the time has finally come. Tomorrow at noon, I will be competing in jiu-jitsu for the third time in my life. Now, I've done a number of weightlifting competitions, I've done a couple of CrossFit competitions, and I have to say that competing in jiu-jitsu is a whole nother ball game. But not only are you going against an opponent who is actually trying to rip your arm off, break your ankle, or choke you out, but you really just don't know what to expect as far as who your opponent is going to be, how aggressive they are, what their skill level is, and all of that. But that just adds to the excitement and anxiety of it all, which is part of what makes it so much fun. So tomorrow I will be competing at a Naga tournament. Naga stands for North American Grappling Association, and it's here in Phoenix, Arizona. Now I will be competing in gi and no gi, and this is going to be my very first gi tournament. This will be my third no gi tournament. So I will be competing in the gi, and I will be in the white belt division because yes, I am still a white belt. And my weight class is from the range 139.9 to 150. 59.9. And in gi, same thing, I will be competing in the same weight class, but instead of the novice or beginner division, I will actually be doing an intermediate division. Now to compete in novice, you have to have been competing for six months or less. To be a beginner, I think the time range is like one to two years, and that would be my division, but the last time I competed in Naga, I actually won that division. But to tell you the truth, I only went up against two girls and it just, the competition wasn't very high. So whether or not I still belong in beginners or not, I don't really have a choice. So I am doing intermediate, which is mostly blue and purple belts. But nonetheless, I'm honestly so excited to try the intermediate division. I know it's going to be a challenge. I know that I'm gonna go up against some pretty good girls, but that is what I believe is going to make me better in this sport, and I just think it'd be really cool to see how I stack up against some more advanced people. So just a couple of things that I've been doing to make sure that I'm prepared for this competition. Number one, going to the gym consistently and making sure that I am learning as much as I can. Now, I'm lucky in the sense that my schedule does allow me to go to the gym every day that there is class, and I'm doing jiu-jitsu six days per week, and on some days when I'm doing gi and no gi, I'll be doing jiu-jitsu for two hours a day. So I've been training a lot, I've been learning a lot, and honestly, the best way to get better at jiu-jitsu is to do jiu-jitsu. That means drilling, that means asking your instructor questions, learning new things, doing your live roles, working really hard, and honestly, knowing that I have put so much time and energy into training and just making sure that I put forth my best effort, I know that no matter what the outcome is tomorrow, that I tried my best and that I stayed consistent and learned as much as I could. The second thing that I've been doing to prepare for this competition is doing a bit more conditioning. So I've actually continued doing all of my MMA and stand-up classes. I haven't stopped that just because, you know, that is a bigger goal that I have and just because I'm preparing for this jiu-jitsu competition doesn't mean that those things get put on the back burner. So I've still been doing, you know, pads, I've still been hitting the bag, I've still been doing the techniques and classes. But aside from the MMA and stand-up classes that I have been doing, I also have been incorporating bike sprints and running into my regimen. So I was doing bike sprints for the past two weeks and basically what that consisted of was getting on an Airdyne bike and sprinting for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for five minutes, three rounds. It's super tough, but it feels amazing um, afterwards, obviously, <laughs> because when you think about it, you're out there on the mats, on top of your adrenaline being through the roof, your opponent is gonna come at you 10 times harder than your training partner would, and you just need to be able to breathe and take control um, of the situation. <laughs> 
Also, my instructor every Friday has been incorporating competition style training. So for the past couple of weeks, we actually did five rounds of 10 minute rounds. So literally for 50 minutes straight, we're just live rolling. And finally, I was counting my macros pretty closely for the past month, month and a half. I had gotten down to 148 pounds, which was the lightest I've been in a really long time. But when I noticed that it started to take a toll on my training, I just kind of relaxed counting my macros this past week, week and a half, just so that I could enjoy training, that I could train really hard and not have to worry about being in a caloric deficit if I didn't have to be. But I've definitely been making sure that I have been eating a lot of good quality foods. I think right now uh, from 148, I am like around 151 pounds. So I gained around three pounds, which isn't bad. Also, I don't really want to get too light in this weight class because the range is so large. So tomorrow is the big day and at this point I am feeling more excited than anything. And to tell you the truth, I am nervous about competing in the intermediate division just because I don't know if I am ready for that yet, if that is where I truly am in my um, skill level at this point in time. But I'm just excited to go up against some girls that I've never gone with before. Stay tuned for a follow-up video all about my competition day. Other than that, um, I am going to go ahead and hand it over to Steve Rosenberg. He is going to give you guys his top three tips on how to best prepare for a jiu-jitsu competition. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. My name's Steven Rosenberg. I'm the head coach for the jiu-jitsu and grappling program here at AZ Combat Sports. And uh, Kelly wanted me to give you guys three of my favorite tips when you're getting prepared for a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or grappling tournament. So, one of the first things is just making sure you have your diet on par and you're ready to start eating clean. Um, no slipping off and grabbing a cheeseburger in the middle of the week. You need to stick to your diet. Um, the next thing, too, I know not everybody can just train full time have jobs, you need to make sure your schedule is freed up depending on what tournament you want to do. For instance, if you're looking to do the World Championship and you can only train twice a week, it's kind of, sorry, but that's just out of the question, that's just not a realistic goal. So you need to make sure you have enough time to put aside. Now if it's a smaller tournament and you can train twice a week, that's fine. But when it comes to international tournaments, you have to be realistic. So. And then the main one is sticking with the schedule that you have planned. So for instance, like when I was competing for the Worlds, I did no less than eight classes a week and strike conditioning on top of it. And even by the end of the week, my body was sore, I was hurting, I made myself go no matter what. Now obviously you run into injuries, yes, if you're injured, you have to take time off. But whatever you have scheduled for your training regimen, you have to stick to it. Even if you go in and let's say you have a light, that's fine, you went in and you train. Not saying you have to train hard, all eight classes that you plan on doing that week, you have to stick to that regimen.